good everybody thank you for checking me out in the month of december and it's a beautiful one you know the weather is a little bit moist you know i was thinking you know usually in december here in ghana it's a uh, hamatan season where the weather is pretty dry the environment is pretty dry and when you go up there you find people with cracked uh hills and all that but here in the south it's kind of like cool, you know, dry weather here in Ghana right now. Are you making preparations to come to Ghana? Let me know, put it up as a comment. And let me meet you at the airport and welcome you to Ghana, the motherland. It's so interesting to know that most of our brothers and sisters are getting involved with the activities of those in the motherland. Yes, uh, talking about festivals, naming ceremonies and all that. I was in Anumabu in October where they celebrated their uh, uh, festival, Uchi festival by the good people of Anumabu. Anumabu is a fishing community located within central region of Ghana. And Uchi is celebrated like every year with the good people of Anumabu, like I mentioned, where uh, like as usual, they carry their queens and their kings and they are you know sub chiefs and all that they parade through the town to show the people that hey it's been a wonderful year god has blessed us the ancestors have blessed us and we need to showcase that we need to celebrate it and so that is the celebration for the good people of anima but one is going to ask echo apart from visiting ghana joining the celebration of ochu what else can I do when I come to Anumabu? There's a whole lot of things to do when you come to Anumabu. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a fishing community. So when you come and then you want to have the experience in fishing and then you talk to them, they may take you on a boat ride, go fish, come back, take the fish home, and then go and prepare whatever you want to prepare. So that is one thing you can go see with the fishermen. Another thing is we have the forts. Fort William there to give you history of what really happened with our ancestors when it comes to transatlantic slave trade. Yes, aside that, there are Pusuban. When you say Pusuban, you know, in our culture, we have our traditional system. We have a group of people we call Asafu. The Asafu, in other words, we say they are the armies of the community. They protect the community. And we may have more than one Asafu company. Okay, so every Asafu company has a shrine which we call Pusuban where they go, they have their gods, that is where they worship and they keep this place so clean with the respect that this place is a sacred grounds for people. Now, during the procession in the festival, something really happened that I wanted to share with you. I go to a lot of festivals, that is what I do because I want you to experience what we do during these events. I went to a festival in Cape Coast where I'm from. I did one in Saltburn, I did one in Mankesim, and I experienced something that during the procession where they carry the chiefs in the palanquin, there is someone who does this ritual that at the end of the day, certain spirit enters other people and then they start acting weird. I wouldn't say it's weird, you know, I can't really describe the, the whole thing, but you know, at a point now, let me let me give you an example. When I went to Anumabu for the festival, during the procession, we passed by one of the Pusuban, which I said is a shrine for uh, a certain Asafu company. When we got there, those in front were stuck; they couldn't move. They were like they were trying to move, but they couldn't move. Out of nowhere, we saw this lady from um, two blocks away running to the place fell on the ground and started you know like it's like there was an there was an there was a spiritual attack on that lady there was a spiritual invasion it entered the lady and then she started like behaving weirdly she was on the ground trying to move i was like yo i have seen these things in most of the festivals but i thought it was a lie but this time i really experienced it just in front of me so i spoke to one of the guys there who is closer to the Pusuban or the Asafu company and asked, what is going on? So he said, he explained that when you are passing by, I mean, during the festival season, there are certain rituals that must be performed for that God in that Pusuban. And I think they refused to do it. So the spirit stopped them from moving, from getting along. So therefore, there was supposed to be an immediate ritual to please that God over there. Now, hear what the guy said. 
Okay, so they said they were passing, they were supposed to stop and then do a ritual for that God. They didn't do it, and then the spirit in that shrine left left and entered into uh, someone who was just sitting somewhere there were two people the thing just fell on them and they started misbehaving I was, it's not misbehaving maybe i'm not using the right word but they started acting like weird like they were they were like snakes on the ground trying to crawl and all that i was like hey hey truly truly this african belief really exists because it was fascinating to see this but this is just a video to explain to you that African beliefs really is in existence. Uh, there are a lot of things you can do when it comes to Ghana. You maybe want to choose Anomabu as your um, area that you want to come and visit. There are a lot of guys around who will take you around, show you beautiful. And they have a tourist information center. So when you come, you are sorted with info, any information that you will need to visit Anomabu. So thank you very much for checking this video out. Enjoy this video and dance to the tune.